and it's time for part two of the Newton tutorial. Now this part has to be more advanced and fraps won't work so we've got to use this regular video camera so quality might be a little bit on the low side. Now for this tutorial you need to going to have to download elementary in the HSAC wizard Helix Swiss Army Knife and I've provided links to those in the video description. So take a moment and download them. And now for the fun stuff. What we're going to do is open up elementary and hit control N which brings up the element wizards. Then we're going to go down to straight, then next, and we're going to put the length at 10, which is default. And this is going to be a flat slope, so we also leave the default angle of 0. And voila, we've produced a straight piece of track. Now we'll go File, Save Element As, and we'll navigate to a file like I always do with my elements. I'll make one for a folder for this particular ride. So we'll just call this Newton Tutorial Part 2. And then we'll name this uh, 10 meter straight flat. All right, now that that's saved, we can pull up the No Limits editor. And we'll set the coaster to be the Intamin hyper coaster style and set the operating mode to shuttle. And it should be fine with six cars. That's good length. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the vertex and make sure that everything is in metric. To get to metric you go up to options, preferences, and then you can choose units over here. So then we'll move this up to 10 meters. It's about 35 feet. Now we'll press control E which brings up the elements menu and then we'll navigate to our Newton tutorial folder and we've got our straight flat and we'll need to move this up to about 150 percent and then we'll do it again and push it up to 300 and click on the short segment, hit control 2 and then X to make it a station and then we'll make this be control 3 to make it be a launch and let's just move this up a little bit more and then we'll make the settings be uh, I gotta admit, I always have to switch it back to Imperial for dealing with the speeds. Uh, let's put this up to 80 miles an hour. Nice good size launch. And we'll pump the acceleration up to 2 G's. Now comes the uh, more advanced stuff because right now we've just got a train that just goes whoosh and then it ends. So what we have to do now is set up all the stuff for Newton. So we open up Newton and we've got all our good stuff. So the Y position we can get right off the bat because we said it was at 10 meters. So we know it's 10 meters off the ground and it's flat so it's only pulling one vertical G. The heart line, hold it over here and that brings up these menus. 
we see that the hyper is 0.9 heart line, so we click it down to that. And then for speed, I have a special program that I made in my calculator to deal with that. But for people who don't have a TI-83 and uh, time to program it, we can just open up Internet Explorer and go to digitaldutch.com slash unit converter. And these guys have a pretty nice site for all this stuff. So then we just go down to speed. And then we've got miles per hour to meters per second. So we'll go 80 miles per hour is equal to 35.7632 meters per second. So we go over to the speed setting and we type in 35.7632. Six three two three five point seven six three two and the track shape in here will change to represent the different speeds and settings we've put in uh, to navigate through the three d window it's it's the same way as working within the simulator or within the editor. you right click to engage the camera and then you can use the ASWD keys to uh, move forward and backward and left to right and then you can hold shift to make the camera move faster or you can put control to make the camera move slower. So what we want to do is make a top hat. So we'll bump the time up to about 1.5 seconds and then we'll change the normal delta settings to, uh, let's go three, uh, three is fine. So what this does is it adds three to the current one, which makes it be four G's at the end of this segment. And that's going to make us go pretty far up. So then we click Add New Section over here. And we see that it's starting to curl over now, but we don't want that. We want a top hat. So we take the G settings, and then we bring it down to about negative uh, 0.7. And now at this point, it isn't making much of a top hat. It'll add on another section. So what we can do is we click back on the first segment, and then we can add a little bit more time to it. And you can see as we add more time, it changes the shape of the rest of the track. So now we've got more of a top hat shape. And then for this, we're at negative 0.7 degrees for this whole segment. We're not making any transitions. Then we can just increase the time, and as you can see, the track is now making a nice little arc. And during this whole thing, it'll probably pull about negative 1.5. And then now we've got to bring the top hat down. So we increase the vertical G's by 4.7. And we can just leave it at one second. And then we add a new section. And that'll bring us pretty much back down to flat level. but. If we just did that, then it would be a little bit boring.